All right, we've got the Sky Rover Navigator here. Uh, I got this for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. My granddaughter gave it to me. All right, here we are. Let's open up this box. Apparently put more tape on this stuff. Pull it out here. Take a look. Nothing in there. Let's get rid of that. Instruction manual. One sheet, double-sided. That's pretty simple. There we go. There's the controller. It's in there pretty tight. Get the spare parts. Whoops, there's the little linkages. They just fell out on the floor. All right, let's pull this thing apart. Get this out of here. Something went flying over there. I think it was a piece of packaging. Put these things in there. There we go. Looks like our little helicopter is free now. Let's see what happens if we turn it on. Do have some battery charge on it. There we go. Let's give it a little try real fast. See how fast we can actually get it flying out of the box. Okay, take a little closer look here. This is what comes in the box. The recharger rotors, links, tail rotor, controller, and of course the helicopter. You can select different channels here. It's on the A channel. Turn the lights on and off with this button. I've got it charging here with the uh, supplied USB cable. It's got a little LED in the cable. The light will go out when it's fully charged. Let's take the controller and we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn the helicopter on, on off switches under here, get the lights are on, they're flashing, turn the controller on, fast flashing is starting to sink, pressing this down is the autopilot button, it clicks, we've got the trim, this opens up and you can pull out the uh, recharging cable. Let's give it a little power here though. It's an infrared controller for indoor use only. You don't want to take it outside because of the sun it will interfere with the controller. Okay, I'm going to try to show you what's going on here. I couldn't figure out why this thing wouldn't fly right. But uh, basically the tail rotor is not turning. Let's try this. See, if we can see that? No rotation on the tail rotor. There's no forward or aft movement. So we're going to take that back to Walmart and exchange it for another one. Though, I'll tell you what, it's got some pretty good lift on it. A little too heavy. Okay, we're going to give it a try, see what it does. This is the one I exchanged at uh, Walmart. They were nice enough to switch it out for another one, and this one flies just fine. In fact, I mean, the battery just seems to keep on going here. Ready? 
I'm going to show you how to do this, okay, Grandpa? They're moving out the hook right there. I do. It's pretty. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was going to your screen. It was. <laughs> I Gotta get those good camera angles. <laughs> yeah. I got you to the bright stones in it. That was really close to me. Uh, okay, so gradually push up the left one. This one up, see? There it goes. Ooh, more, 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 more. You're in the air. You're in the air. Oh, stop. Back, back, back. Oh, boom. There. Good, good. Now back down. Back down. Whoops. Back down. That was just... <laughs> <laughs> it's an endurance test of your helicopter. It is. Oh, she's got it. Look at that. That's really good, Anna. What happened when the baby got into this one? Oh, that's right. Ah. She's doing good. She really is. Don't prank and see up there. She's a natural. Might want to go. If I take some, let me try it. We're gonna have a safe landing, okay? Ooh. Ah! It was going there. <laughs> Don't get too close to your face. Yeah. That was pretty cool, though. <laughs> you better get your face away from it, Haley.